Welcome once again to your Japanese kitchen. My name is George Williams, and we are going to be cooking here at Kurihara san's house. And here is our chef, Kurihara san. Hello, I'm Harumi Kurihara. Let's enjoy Japanese cooking together. Yeah, let's have fun. And you know, I always notice that you have great furniture here. You know, you have great furniture behind the cameras and great furniture behind us yes. as well as the table and yes. this cabinet here. Yes. Can you tell me about this cabinet? In the quiet of the morning, rolling towards the light. Wow. So this cabinet is full of memories. Okay. So I have been collecting them uh, when I got married. Wow. For 36 years. Wow, so it's 36 years of memories in here. Well, you know, it looks good on the outside. I like how it looks on the inside as well. Uh, when I go abroad mm. and I go on a trip in Japan, mm. I always find uh, my favorite things. Okay. So this is all from holidays and trips. Yes. Okay, so can you um, show me something? Uh, how about this here? Where is this from? It's a strawberry inside mm. and the milk and sugar uh, from Tasmania. Wow, from Tasmania. And how many years ago did you buy this? Uh, maybe 25 years ago. 25 years ago. Mm. So every time you look at this, you think Tasmania. Yes. You remember where you yeah, bought it? Yes. Wow, that's nice. So it reminds me of the place I visited. Everything. This is from Norway. Okay. This shape mm. is very cute. It's cute, yeah? Mm. I never seen that. Yeah, it's, it is. Yeah, it's got unique from Norway. Mm. And this is from how many years ago? Twenty. Wow. Twenty about eighty years ago. Yeah, that's nice. No, I guess um, a lot of people when they go overseas or when they go traveling, they take photographs, and that's great too. But it's also nice to be able to remember things from with uh, you know little uh, plates and cups that you buy. So this is a type of photograph. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Maybe I can close it now? Okay, thanks so much. Appreciate it. So, of course, this being a cooking show, we're going to be cooking today. So, what will we be making today? So, today, we'll be making rice with black beans. Rice with black beans. Yes. The slight purple color mm. of the rice is very beautiful. Rice with black beans. This is simple to make? Yes. Good. Very simple. Good, 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 good. Even I can make it. Yeah. Okay, good. And what else will we be making? So, we'll make a homemade atsage. Do you like it? I love atsake. You know, at restaurants, I often um, order atsake, but I don't think I've ever made it at home. Yeah. And this is simple. You can, you can easy. Good. Easy good, good. to cook. Today, we'll be making rice with black beans and two kinds of homemade deep fried tofu called atsuage. These tasty and healthy dishes are a cinch to prepare, as we're about to find out. Today's guest is Alex Jaroslava from Belarus. When Alex came to Japan seven years ago, she couldn't eat raw fish. But she has since developed a taste for the traditional staple and now enjoys Japanese dishes, including sushi and sashimi, three or four times a week. Welcome. Hello, Hello Mr. Sam. I'm so Alex pleased to meet you. Lava. Just call me Alex. Hi. I was looking forward to meeting you. Too. And this is a little present for you. Oh, thank you so much. This is a um, Belarusian cake from Belarus restaurant yes. in Tokyo. Mm. And it's homemade cake. Homemade Please cake. Cut. Thank you. It's a Belarusian cake. Yes. yes. So you're from Belarus? Belarus. Okay, so in Belarus you have cakes like this? Yes. Oh, but this one is special. It calls a bird's milk. In Belarus, this cake is usually served on special occasions. It's called bird's milk because of its amazingly delicate taste and texture. Itadakimasu. What do you think is ingredient for this white, white thing? What do you think? Sour? Yeah. It's a bit sour, isn't it? Sour is lemon, mm. right? Lemon. Mm. What else? I don't know. Mm. I can taste the sour cream, though. Mm. There's no sour cream. Mm. But there's the butter. Butter. Oh. Lemon, the lemon. whole lemon mm. with the skin. Mm. Yeah. And we call it manka. It's like, um, it's a small thing that you can cook for mornings. Mm. Bird's milk. That's yeah. A, yeah, it's a great name. Uh, it's no hard. It's very not right to that get all. It's quite fresh there. Yeah. Thanks for this. Thanks. Really appreciate it. Um, um, do you cook Japanese food? 
Uh, myself, I do, but like a simple. Um, might be udon and moyashi. Something oh, like, yeah. Moyashi? <laughs> I love sushi sashimi, mm. but I can't cook sushi. <laughs> mm. But in Belarus, a lot of people mm. they start making sushi mm. at home. At home? Yes. So today we're going to be making rice, but it's not sushi rice, but it's uh, <laughs> yeah. But it, apparently it's really good, right? So red bean, oh, and black bean, black bean rice. Right. This is the first dish we'll be making today. These are the only ingredients, and make four servings. Ah. So, w where should we start? How how should we do like, this? Wash the rice. Okay. And drain. Okay. Kuriharasan, washing the rice is an important part. Yes. Very, very many times mm. to wash. Mm. The first time and very cloudy water. So you just keep on repeating this yes. until the, the, the milky, the cloudy water becomes clearer. Okay. What is this? Sharpen the rice by gently rubbing the grains in water and then rinsing them. Repeat this process about 10 times until the water stays clear. Then empty the rice into a colander and let it stand for about 15 minutes. Okay, so we're done with, uh, okay. we wash the rice? Yes. That red beans, I've already uh, washed and drained. Okay. okay. And roast them in the frying pan. Mm. Do you need to add oil? No oil. No oil? Mm. Okay. Roast the black beans over a medium flame for three to five minutes until their skin splits open. still hear it kind of popping. Mm. Yes. It's a little bit like popcorn, yeah? Hey. <laughs> That's the rain, right? Real. Like not even rice cooker. We're not even using a rice cooker. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And it's actually really quite easy to make it this way. And then one tablespoon sake. sake. Yellow sake. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And add the water until it becomes the two cups. The, the rice is two cups, the same. I can smell it. <laughs> mm. It's already smells good. Okay. This looks healthy. Healthy. Mm. Yep. And put the lid on. And turn on the heat on high. So you have to watch that it yes. wouldn't fall. No? Yes. Uh, so if you're a pro like Korea, yeah. like you know, it's like oh okay, more. I'm gonna turn it down low, but like for uh, I guess amateurs like me, yeah. it's okay to take a look. If you have to take a look, you can. Look at that. Mm. Look at that. Bye bye. Hi, hi, hi. Bye bye. It was really hi, good. Hi. Really Look at that. High yeah. fire yeah. and it didn't yeah. run yeah. Yeah. away. And two. On roll. Uh, down to roll. Mm. And four. Yeah. 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, so we just leave this now. Yeah. Okay, for a while. Cook the rice over a low flame, making sure not to lift the lid while it cooks. Cook for 13 minutes, then turn off the heat and let it cool for 10 minutes more without removing the lid. This allows the cooked rice to steam and brings out the flavor. Kuriharasan, it's been about 10 minutes, I think? Yes. So this is the black bean rice. Yes. Let's take a look. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's a beautiful color. Yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. The purple, I mean, just from beans. Yeah. The rice becomes this color. You know, I don't think I've ever had black bean mm. rice before. Yeah. I mean, I've had the red bean rice, but very strange yeah. color, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and then this is um salt. Salt. 
So you don't even need a rice cooker to make this. All you need is rice and black beans, a little bit of salt, yeah. and water, yeah. and osake. Yeah. Our dish of rice with black beans is done. The rice has turned a slightly purple shade and has a deep, rich taste. Now it's time to make our accompanying dishes of homemade atsuage. Only tofu and vegetable oil for frying are needed for this recipe. Either silken tofu or firm tofu can be used. Wipe the tofu with a kitchen paper. Okay. okay. Let me try this too, then. And one more time. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> and one more towel. One more towel. Thank you. And some people might be thinking, like, why are we, why are we um, patting down the tofu? And it's to get rid of, uh, of course, any excess water. Okay, and so we do this again. We're going to be frying it, and that's why you need to get rid of the water, because water and oil don't mix. And if it's, soak, if it's soaked in water, then what happens is the moment you add the oil, it's like, right? Yeah, and we don't like that kind of splatter. into six pieces. And one more time. Very gentle. Try to remove as much of the excess water as you can, but don't squish it. You have to be gentle. You can still get a lot of water. You know, I tried fried tofu, but I've never seen how it was cooked. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm the same. Yeah. Very easy. This is so easy because it's just tofu. Just remove the excess water, grab yeah. oil, boom, shua. Okay. And put in the tofu. With the ham. Yes. Very dangerous. What did you do with the chopstick? <laughs> My fault. Oh. You can, you just have to be careful that you don't yeah. cut into it. Yeah. And don't move with the tofu too much mm. while you're frying. And how long do we deep fry this for? Mmm, brown color and the touch that they cook crispy. Okay. Ah, oh, look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, look at that. You have to be careful, mm. separate them, right? Yeah. Mm. You know what I like about this Korean san is like when we eat at restaurants, mm. the atsuage mm. is not that hot. Yeah. You know, whereas if you make it at home, mm. the moment it comes out of the oil, yeah. you can wait a couple of minutes yeah. and then eat. Yeah. So it's really still Very warm good. or hot. Very special. Look at that. Look yeah. at that. You know, it kind of looks like a deep fried chicken almost, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so getting the corn, what are you doing? Yeah, it's start, um, the tofu starts to float, mm. float now, which means it's uh, just about done. Yeah. So at first I noticed when you put the tofu in, it just sank to the bottom. Yeah. And um, mm. there was that reaction between the water and the oil, and it was like a, you know, mm. There's still a little bit of that going, but the tofu's floated to the top, which means, look at this crispy color. What do you think, Alex? Looks uh, wonderful. Our homemade atsuake is done. Let's enjoy it now with some condiments while it's hot. Today, we've prepared the following condiments. Grated daikon, grated ginger, chopped Japanese leek, chopped spring onion, and soy sauce. If you want to, you can put it on top. Yeah, just a little bit like that. Yeah, that's fine. More soy sauce. On um, top. On top. Mmm. Hey, this, this, this all. Mmm. Mmm. Do you like it? It's good. 
good. It's very good. Mm. It's still soft inside and mm. crispy outside. Mm. And it's a good mix, mm. very good mix of um, daikon. Mm. Is it better than the stuff that you eat at the stores? <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. But mm. this um, ginger <laughs> makes it very, very <laughs> good. <laughs> so you are crying. Mm. It's good though. Mm. It's good. <laughs>
I'll try it. So what I would guess, oh, you're going to wait. You're going to wait. There's a chewy texture of the rice, of course, but then the beans, that's nice, too. You can eat this just as it is. Omri is hot, mm. but it's uh, slightly, a little sweet. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Wait. the taste of beans. Mm. Very hot. Be <laughs> careful. Very hot? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to be careful this time. On your tongue. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Here we go. It's oh, very hot, mm. right? You can tell, look, look at the steam. Look, oh, that's hot. I'm not putting that in my mouth right now. I can't wait, man. <laughs> Mm. Um, but it's it's really sweet. It's nice. It's got that sweet flavor to it. Mm -hmm. You can taste the I guess the meeting. Maybe mm -hmm. it's a little bit of sugar as well. Mm. We cooked it, and the tomorrow it's very nice and mm -hmm. soak the flavors. Mm. So you eat it next day too. Yes. Uh -huh. Hot or cold it all right. Oh. Mm. Mm. So. Like you said, like we were saying, you can just make a whole bunch, and if you want to eat it hot, go ahead. Yes. Mm. But if you have some leftovers, just put it in the yeah. fridge, and the next Maybe day, boom. A few days. A few days, yes, okay. Three days. That's all right. Mm. So, Alex, we made three dishes today. What do you think? I will definitely try to make it. It's simple, mm. healthy, and it was delicious. Mm. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much, my cheers. We want, you know, if uh, it was really simple, as you probably were able to tell to make, so um, hopefully maybe you can try this at home. And Kuriyatsu, we want to yes. thank, you, thank you, as always. Thank you so much. And Alex, thank you. Thank you. You are nice cake. Thank, 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 no, thank you very and, much. And finally, uh, for the very end, we want to say uh, goodbye in Belarus. I mean, how, how would you how would That's you say? a little long. Da mm. Pabachenya. Da Pabachenya. Da Pabachenya. Da Pabachenya. All right, so everybody, and we'll see you next time. Da Let's review today's dishes, starting with rice with black beans. Sharpen the rice and drain in a colander. Let it stand for 15 minutes, then put it in a pot. Roast the black beans in a frying pan until their skin splits open. Combine the sake and water to 400 milliliters and add it to the rice. Put the black beans on top of the rice. Put on the lid and put the pot on a high flame. When it comes to a boil, turn the heat down to low and cook it for about 13 minutes. Turn off the heat and let it steam for about 10 minutes. Add salt and mix lightly. And that completes the dish. Let's review now how to make homemade atsuage. Wrap the tofu in a paper towel. Put a weight on top and let it stand for about 20 minutes. Cut the tofu into six pieces and wipe moisture from the surface, then deep fry the pieces in heated oil. When the tofu becomes golden brown, it's done. Put on some condiments and pour on the soy sauce. Let's review how to make sweet and salty atsuage. Put the dashi stock, sugar, sake, soy sauce, and mirin in a pan and bring it to a boil. Add the atsuage and put on a drop lid. Simmer until the broth reduces. Our sweet and salty atsuage is ready to serve. For full access to all of our recipes, simply visit our website. In our next edition, we'll feature some of Hadumi's very quick and easy dishes.